we can implement sequential search or this is also called linear search in C++. Okay, so start search. Okay, save file, main file. Yes. First of all, we will do a short introduction about the logic of the program. In sequential search, the step is traverse entire data set. Number second, match the given. this logic we will have an array let's so this is AR of size 10 so what any size will be given 12 45 67 32 76 1 32 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 these are the this is the array of 10 elements we will have to find any element of this array using sequential or linear method we see that we are required to search a number that is called none we will say that c out enter number to search okay scene number here we will we give Here we will get number to search. We will use an iteration int i is equal to from zero index of the array to less than size of the array i plus plus. Now we will match each and entire element of the array from the given number. If ar i index is equal to num, then what we will have to we will have to flag is equal to 1 and uh, break the iteration here we will have use a flag variable int flag is equal to 0 this will indicate either the given number is found or not in the iteration just used to indicate the number is found or not okay here when the iteration will complete we just check if flag is equal to zero as we said here if flag doesn't change means this condition never be true then we can easily see that see out If this flag changes to 1 means there is some time this condition will meet or true means number is found. So that number is found. Okay, we simply want to execute this code. It may contain any kind of error. We will identify and remove this error. Successfully compiled. We are going to search 32. Number is found because 32 is at that location. Okay, okay, okay. We are just running it again. The element that is not in the array we will type here. Uh, just we type uh, 89. Uh, number is not found. Okay, this is running successfully. Now we will go to the code. Code says that there is a data set. C++ okay this is the variable for number this is the input statement get the number from the user this is the flag 
show this is used to indicate either the element is such or not this is get input the entire process is dead we will traverse from zero index to the nth index so that we will find if any index of array is equivalent to the given number then it will indicate that the number is found we will set the flag to other value rather than the set zero and the end we will check either flag is changed or not if it is not changed then it is not never this condition is fulfilled if it is changed then it means the condition is fulfilled at any iteration then the number is found